So, next. You might have noticed I've left the battery, um, battery area, and that's because uh, I don't have a battery pack at the moment, and I don't have uh, the necessary clips. Apparently there's something called XT60 or something, it's type of a connection, but I don't have that, and quite frankly I don't want to mess with the battery section at the moment. So, anyway, this is going to be the front, this is going to be the back. So if you're looking at the drone from the front, well actually if we look at it this way, this is the front, this is going to be the right, left and back. So, I want the front two to be red and the back two can be black. Right, so, so, now I can either have this on top or underneath. Now let me just see if we've got any clearance if we put the motor on. Yeah, we'll have clearance. So, that might be an idea. Or I could have them at the bottom. Right. Let's see what they look like at the bottom. At the bottom, we could actually push all these wires in into this and have them all going through. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's push this, push this in here. Um, so it could also look like that. We can push the ESC further, further up. I think probably underneath is better. So, right, this this little three wire um, thing that's going to slot underneath or in this hole here. Now I'm thinking, should I try and put these through? It's a little bit of a tight squeeze, but they do fit. I think I think for now I'm I'm not going to do that, and if I decide to another time, I can. But for now, this one is going to go through the hole. So there we go. It's going to go like that. So I'm going to screw that in now. Oh, this is going to be a bit of a mess, isn't it? Right. Yeah. The other thing is I've got. Two sets of screws. Now I don't know why. Um, yeah, I don't know why. So I'll have to count those up and and make a decision. Yeah, so I'll just start to screw this in now. I'm not going to go too mad with this either. So put this on here, and then turn this the other way around. Right. screws are very stiff and it looks like they need washers as well really. I didn't get any washers with them though. So there's one done. Hmm. Not very happy about the way that's been designed. It doesn't look quite right to me but okay. It's in so I haven't gone too crazy with that either. So, I've got one arm, oh it is very stable actually. So I've got one arm on. Okay, one arm's on and so far so good. So I'll repeat that now for the other, the other three arms. Okay, so about 15 minutes past or so, and I struggled. I struggled to um, to bolt these things in, and 
if you've bought the same product as me, be aware that there can be rubbish in the threads of these um, arms, if you want to call them. Yeah, check the threads because I struggled and thought, what is going on here? Um, I looked inside the threads and they were, well, they had plastic shards in them um, from the moulding of the, um, you know, the arms. So, look out for that one. Um, but all I did anyway was, was just took them off, um, held the arm and just screwed them in by hand and just eased it off a little bit, made sure I was doing it straight and not going to cross thread the, um, the bolt. So yeah, take care with that and um, don't rush, whatever you do, don't rush. Um, if you do cross thread, you know, it could be permanent or you need to get a threader or something. But anyway, so... This is currently upside down, of course, and if I just hold these in place. There it is. So that's the drone up to now, and you can see that the ESCs are going to need to be strapped, strapped onto the the arms, like that. Probably, um, probably with a zip tie or. A good quality elastic band or something. Um, could actually use electrical tape. Probably put an elastic band on each uh, over each one. I want something lightweight but um, quite strong. I could actually continue now and put the put the motors on. And I think I will. So I'll just push that out for a sec. In the motors that I bought, or in the package, rather, you get this, which looks like something to um, to secure the propeller. I'm going to put that to the side for a minute. This thing here, I know what this is now. It's an adapter. So the um, the holes are there, but with this, I have a chance to. In fact, that doesn't look right, does it? The holes aren't even aligned. Oh, that's why. Okay, but anyway, I have a choice to um, adapt the holes to make the, um, I don't know, the radius bigger. But I, w I don't think I'll be needing that anyway, because if I look at these here, it looks about right. So I'll try and screw these in then. Now the way these are moulded, they're not quite parallel, so so that's interesting. Yeah, they go like that. And it looks like this wire is sort of forced to go over there like that. So it'll have to go under there. I can't put it in here because the um, the holes don't line up any other way. Which I think that's been done on purpose. So I could put I could have the wires come out this side, but that would be silly. So yeah. I'll screw these in now. Right, so yeah, the wires have to go that way. You can't you can't put them anywhere, you know? So the wires have got to go that way. Now, to align these things up, I'll just zoom out. There we go, I've got one aligned. Again, I'm not going to go mad here just in case I end up cross threading it or something. Okay, I haven't gone so mad there. Let's see if I can line the other one up. Yep, looks like I'm in there.
Okay, so I've got two in. Now these ones should um, should be right. And that one is. That one's in. And the last one. Perfect. Right. There we go. So that motor's on. And that's what it looks like at the moment. So that's going to have to go down there. And then it'll be joined to these um, joined to the uh, C wires. These are going to have to be trimmed down of course, but I'm not trimming anything at the moment because I don't know, you know about the sizes and things. So anyway, I'm going to put the other motors on now.